Okay, here go the keys to one, why Earth is even called key. We're gonna start with that. Earth, it's one of my great teachers always taught me one of the oldest names of Earth was called key. Like kind of like a map. And I've talked about this on several episodes. But why? The question is why? Out of all the places in the universe, why is Earth considered the keys? Out of all the places. And the reason for this is because, for one, Earth was considered the best hospital that you could ever go to, according to different um, extraterrestrials and different beings that, that came here. And they would come here to get herbs and medicine and things of that nature. However, at that time, everything was all like connected, right? And it's hard to believe, I'm gonna say this before I go into the rest of it. It's hard to believe that I'm actually standing in one of the old, oldest points of this whole story. See, it was all connected until the advent of Atlantis. See, Atlantis is where it gets really trippy when it comes to our history. A lot of what uh, the Theosophical Society, Scientology, and other groups talk about actually comes from the lost teachings of Atlantis, and it's a long story. However, it's so pertinent and important because you can't understand the history of this earth unless you understand the Atlantean history. See, like right now where I stand, it's hard to believe, but where I stand at one point, you could have walked from here to, for instance, from here to Africa at one point before the Atlantic Ocean because this was all considered an island. Some people call it Turtle Island or whatever the case may be. And over time, there was a serious war that took place that they took out of our memory. They did this on purpose. You don't even have a memory of it, it's so deep. But it happened here. And it's the story of Atlantis. It's the story of the water and how the water actually got here through a couple of evil experiments from some different scientists that got us here today to this point. And I'm saying that because it's important because when you start talking about this virus, I said I was gonna reveal the language that the virus is in. And the virus is in, well, the, the virus itself is in Arabic. The, the virus that they use to attack the true information that I'm speaking of, this is coded in Arabic. And this is very important. I'm saying this because the land of Arabia itself, though it seems so much like it's far away and this and that and the third, but actually the land of Arabia at one point was connected. It was a part of Israel. And Israel was connected to Egypt. So some people say like, when you talk about like ISIS, Ra and El and things of that nature, you're really talking about an Egyptian story. And this is not to diss anyone's culture or anything like that. This is just to go back into the story. So, in saying all of that, you got a track of land that was once connected that separated several different peoples and different languages, different so-called ethnic groups. And the only reason why you know about this story and the only reason why you know about any of this period is because of as far as like the connection that America has to all of this is because of the Moroccan story or the Moorish story it's the only reason why you know about this because you would have had have had to have a flag of some sort to even go across the waters to get the second half of this story about Atlantis and that's what happened is that, see, they cut us off and that's where the virus comes in at. See, a virus in reality comes in when there's a lack of information 
in a particular body or a particular something living when there's a lack of information to, to actually counteract or offset a foreign language or foreign piece of information. That's what this virus is. So when you start talking about the Arabic and them mixing in the Arabic with the English, this is causing a really deep financial crisis because of the lack of understanding, because of the lack of the ability to, the, the, the inability, I should say, to be able to convert certain monies over from the Arabic to the English. So it's created a barrier, a culture shock. And it's gonna to lead to a war over the internet. See here, I had to actually do this video here in this land because if I cross the waters, like I was telling you on several videos back, it's not to diss anyone or anything like that, but over the waters, that's considered a credit card. When I come over here, this is what's called the Devil's Triangle or the Golden Triangle. So I had to cross the waters and do this video here just to be able to connect with Arabia, Africa, and those other lands that actually have gold up under it to be able to channel it because see they're not telling you this we live in a computer that's what i'm getting at the internet was designed from the earth which is key and i'll close down with that and we'll go more into that but we live in a computer and different with depending on where you're at is going to depend on what part of the computer you live in like i said right now i'm actually into in the central location of what's called the keys of the internet so no matter what language you're talking about whether it's arabic Hebrew or what may have you, I can do a video here and connect with international markets. It's the only place you can do this at. That's why it's amazing. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna go into, as time goes on, I'm gonna choose different regions and give you a real good reading and help you to understand what part of the computer are you actually in? What part of the internet are you actually in? You gotta understand this because you can't see the future unless you travel to certain lands, meaning that you're gonna be stuck here in what's called the present and in certain places they are in the future. I've told you that before. So in order for you to actually connect with that, you gotta come to certain areas. There's no way around it. You gotta touch down. And then from there, you can connect with various different international currencies that begin to trade. Because in this area, see, they use what's called a RAND unit, which is actually out of South Africa, to trade with, which is very important. I want to point that out, too. That depending on where you're at on this grid will depend on the currency that you can connect with when you start building your grid. So it can get really intricate depending on what type of device you're using will depend on how you can connect to this particular grid. So th th this can actually control your views. When you talk about certain videos, you know, having high and low views and things of that nature. This is where it comes into play at. This can actually control your links, like I was saying before. So the key is, and the kicker is, is that until everyone realizes that you gotta pay homage to HP. And I know people don't really wanna hear this, but you gotta pay homage to HP if you're gonna trace yourself back to the very beginning of anything dealing with the East. If you're not paying homage to HP, you're not gonna trace yourself back to anything dealing with the East because that's where the other half of the gates are at. It's in the East. So what happens is that you have certain keys and gates here in the west you can only go up to about like 40 something and then you got to go over to the east pay homage to hp and then you got to come back and reconnect and make your final initiation here is zero point which is in the u.s believe it or not so this is a kind of like a parable episode for those who have ears can hear and those who have eyes can see